our officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Nestor Bello, international referee. Second referee, Mr. Erlindo Eusebio, national referee. Let's call on our starting lineup from our F2 Logistics, Cargo Movers. Let's begin with our team captain. She wears jersey number two, Abigail Marano. At number three, Ivy Keith Laxina. Wearing jersey number four, Victor Nara Galang. At number eight, Jolina De La Cruz. Number nine, Kim Fajardo. And number 10, Mary Joy Baron. Starting libero is number five, Don Nicole Macandili Katindig. Head coach, Ms. Regine Diego. Presenting our Signal HD Spikers. The captain wear jersey number seven, Frances Senia Molina. Number two, Rosalind Doria. Wearing jersey number five, Vanessa Gandler. At number eight, Jovelin Gonzaga. Wearing jersey number 18, Marivic Melaine Meneses. And number 22, Maria Angelica Cayuna. Starting libero is number 21, Angela Nunag. Head coach, Mr. Cesael Shaq de los Santos. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusement Board. Here are your starters. Start a new way to watch the PVL via the Pilipinas live app. For Filipinos everywhere, download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. Billy Capistrano with Noreen Go as we take a look at the starting lineup for the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. And moving on to the other side of things for the Signal HD Spikers. So as you mentioned a while ago, Noreen for Signal, they, they have a four-game winning streak right now. F2 just lost to the Cream Line Cool Smashers in three straight sets. Yeah, and you know, the <laughs> next assignments of F2 are going to be very trying for them, you know, tough matches because um, we were checking, you know, the, the teams that F2 beat are, you know, the teams below them. Mm -hmm. So obviously they are, you said it, at four and three, so they're going to play against teams with, with better standing. So it's very challenging, but we know F2 when they find their groove, you know, they're, they're very... That swag that we were talking that about. That swag. They're very dangerous. We will see how things will unfold today here in the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. This is our second game of three. Later on, we got a good game as well. The Petrogas Angels going up at the Chocomucho Flying Titans as a signal. HE Spikers get their first point of the match via a service ace from Riri Meneses. That's one aspect of her game, talking about Meneses, that she has improved vastly here in this conference. I remember she was uh, one of the players of the game and she said you know she's trying to improve on uh, her serves she's currently the ninth best server in the league in terms of our rankings as f2 will get their first point you know, i was looking at the starting lineup of uh, signal remember when they started we started this conference gonzaga was coming off the bench then even for f2 you know you see changes in the starter so Today, it looks like they mean business with uh, their starting units. And this is going to be a very crucial game for both our teams. I mean, we keep mentioning that race to the semifinals is getting tighter. It is jam-packed in the middle <laughs> for all our teams. Signal gets another point here in our set number one. As Jel Cayuna marches on to the service line. Well, we did talk about good serving. Jel Cayuna known for that. Another good serve. That's right. Kayuna will go to Doria up top. Gets her first point. Well, I know it's 
just the start of his first set, but this is a good rotation in which Signal can build. You know, they have the lead, but it's a full front row, and you want to build from this rotation. They really want to capitalize on that as Cayuna will serve again. They're up by two points in their first set. Here comes Jolita. Smart move from the rookie as we turn it over to Jaime Ascalo. Billy and Irene from the walkways of pageantry to the volleyball court. Sorry, the who was a bright spot in F2's last game told me that volleyball is actually much easier than pageantry because she has a lot of teammates she can count on. In pageantry, she was learning how to do things alone and she had to care about the little details alone from the down-up which she brought to volleyball. But confidence is one thing she developed. When you walk down the runway, you can think about what others think. Just be you, Sabini Joy. Now, this report is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app. Get the most extensive UAAP PVL PBA coverage all in one app, catch all the games live in multicam, main view, and fan stream on selected games. Download the app from Google Play, Apple Store, or ViPilipinosLive.com. Register now for free. Billy Bil Bil Thank you so much for that report, Jaime. And yes, Joy Dacaron did. You know, she, she left the volleyball scene for quite a bit to join pageantry. Happy to have her back, of course, with, with the FP Logistics Cargo Movers. But right now, the Signal HD Spiker is asserting their dominance here in our first set. Yeah, you know how well rounded some of these players are. We talk about. You know, people into pageantry, you know, Mitch Gumaba was one, Dakaron also wanted to be one, so you look at that they're pursuing other dreams. As we get back to our match, that is a single block. Ivy Laxina, picked up by Molina. Cayuna will go to Vanny Gandler, she's blocked! Well, she has been playing well, so you know any opponent right. will mark Vanny Gandler. She is a target of F2 today. Look, look at their blockers. You know, they're not just ordinary blockers. We're talking about Joy Baron and Andy Laxina. Wall, a wall. And she's got to be smart about her attacks, talking oh. about Vanny. They go to Cesc Molina. Marano, Bob set to Aragalang. Cayuna. With a quick play to Doria. Babalik's a signal on Bola, and they go to Jov Gonzaga with a push. Good read. Ivy again. Says Molina from the back row, oh. and that is in. You know, that, that rally for me shows how good signal is playing. We did say four game win winning streak and why? Because Cayuna is just distributing. So the defense of F2 always guessing who are we gonna go, you know, guide. And then you have a Molina from the pipe. So everyone's being used. Everybody's being effective. And yeah. of course, Jerry Cayuna has really grown here with the signal HD spiker. Such a maturity, you know, since her FEU days. Yeah, and what about getting back at you? Giving one back at you. Vanny Gandler blocking Ivy Laxina there. That's going to be a fun matchup to watch as well. <laughs> Vanny versus Ivy Laxina. Here comes Rose Doria. Bajardo gives it to Aragalang. Challenging those blockers. Gonzaga. They go to Jolina. Oh. And Jolina de la Cruz, this is her sophomore conference here with the F Logistics Cargo Movers. A much better conference from her for her compared to that first one. And really how apt now. We talked about the matchup of Molina and Jolina. Right? <laughs> and we both just saw five attacks, you know, at, at its prime. So nila yung pregame. I, I, I think. But it's, they watched it. But it's something to look forward to in this match. And we're just starting. That's right, and hopefully they do give us a show here in our game today. So far, so good for yeah. both our teams. I mean, look at the cargo movers catching up here in our first set. That's what you want to see from F2. I mean, a lot of talk about the way they're playing right now, you know, and underachieving, but you never know. They just have to get over that cup. If you are an F2 fan, you are hoping and praying that they will peak at the right mm. time. And this could be it. This could jumpstart that peak. Ivy Laxina will serve. They give it to Riri Meneses. No go. Aragalang. Oh, good oh, save. Alive. Good defense from Signal. Does not go over, they said. Well, that is a violation, rather. Logistics cargo movers, but I feel like they are gonna 
There you have it. They're gonna call a block touch in that sequence. Based on what we saw in real time, it looked like Vanny Gandler had a hand in it, but it looked like the ball was just about to go over the tape. That's right. The thing is, There is a block touch. So indeed, there was a block touch in that sequence by Vandy Gander. Also from her vantage point, we, we did see her touch the ball. Yeah, yeah. So that was a good call from the side of F2. Again, in the day and age of the challenge system, that's not... You can't hide. You can't hide. And that's not four touches are not over because way back when I would say, that's people call that uh, not over. Mm. So right now, F2, two points behind, make that three. Vanny Gander redeeming herself, <laughs> as she always does. And, and this conference mode especially, hitting it off the high hands, look at that. Using the hands of the blockers, challenging the blockers of F2 as well. We know that F2 is a great blocking team. I believe they're number one in the league in terms of blocking. That is a little too wide for Aragada. Yeah, she missed that follow through, the usual follow through, that flick of the wrist for Gala. Check that. F2 is the second best blocking team, averaging 2.20 blocks per set. Second. Second best blocking team. Okay. Who's the first? I'll get back to you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you know. I will get back to you on that one. Let's look at our game first. Signal five point advantage versus the girls in white. Well, it's a good start for a signal, but if you're F2, I feel it's very it's more important for them to win this first set, you know, to get them going because we've seen their struggles throughout this conference. So you want them to start out strong, and they need that confidence as well, especially after that game against Streamline straight sets. They want to redeem themselves, of course, here in our match. As Aragalang on deck to serve. Gandler to Molina. Fajardo to Abby Marano. Signature move from Abby. Yeah, she took some pace off of that, and that made all the difference. You know, it doesn't always have to be a strong one. Look at that. Just enough top spin. That is her first point of the game. Her team trailing by three points. Tayuna will give it to Meneses. We've seen that before. Chance here for the HD Spikers as Jell will find Vanny Gandler. What a set. We have to say what a set by Jell Tayuna. It became a one on one, and Vanny Gandler just gets that off the blockers. Look at this set. Look at this. One on one! <laughs> a beautiful play yeah. from both Jel Kayuna and Vani Gandler. She has just you know, adjusted to the system of Coach Shaq so well. Sabi nga ni Jaime kanina, Coach Shaq doesn't even need to tell her to step up. She already knows what to do. Ivy, single blocker. Cess. They're gonna chase this one. I'm still alive. Great hustle from both these squads. As Fajardo to De La Cruz again. <laughs> he makes it work. And it's a smart hit, you know. Reading your opponents, seeing who's defending you. You have Meneses or Cayuna. You take your chance with a smaller blocker. So De La Cruz, one of the more versatile players as well here for F2. An all-around player. 
Great addition as well to this team. Joust at the net. F2 has it. They set it over. Gel. The go to Molina. Soft touch. Oh. Does it all have, have to be the power? Indeed, the hat. Kailangan malakas yung palo. It has to be the, about the smarts as well. And says Molina definitely has it. That's just smart. I mean, smart volleyball from this player. Then you see the finesse of her drop. And she knew exactly what yeah. she was going to do from the get go. Four point lead for Signal. Fajardo to Baron. Yeah, you know, that's what F2 has to do here in the first set. You have to run your middles. Once you're able to run your middles, this one, you, the variety of your offense will, will come out. You know, so F2, you have to get your middles going, I always say. Majoy Baron, of course, and Kim Fajardo, they have that connection. They both know what to do. Mm -hmm. Jel Kayuna, talking about middles. <laughs> I think Doria and Kayuna heard us. As we go to our first technical timeout, we got signal in the lead. Experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block live in HD and on demand anytime, anywhere, and on any device via Filipinas live app. Download and register now. We're still here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. It is the Signal HD Spikers versus the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Four game winning streak for the girls in black. Meanwhile, for F2, they're just trying to find their footing again. They want to get back on track. They want to get back on their feet. And they want to use this game as a catalyst for that. Mm. But, but I must say, I'm noticing a more confident signal team. You know, the way they're playing. And how they're moving. And as how well. they're moving, how they're, you know, communicating. For me, Signal always had that problem, eh, the consistency. Mm -hmm. uh, that everything, they're good, but they're up and down, roller coaster. But, you know, because of that, I guess that the way they're playing in that four game winning streak, it's different. They're different today. Their last loss was against the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. I also covered that game. It was in Inares. Mm -hmm. I believe that was a straight set win for Choco Mucho. And they have not looked back since then. As we get back to our match at hand, that is outside for Ivy Laxina. Well, trying to hit it through the blockers, but that was, you know, that's uh, actually uncharacteristic for Ivy Laxina. She has been so dominant this conference as well. She's a ninth best scorer in the league. 99 points for her in our tournament as that will sail outside for Jolina de la Cruz. And with that, Coach Reg Diego will call for time. Down the line cross, drag ball. Ilang naman yung options natin eh. Kung walang pasa, dulo-dulo. Basic lahat. Ang problema natin, nagtatakot tayo. Nakukuha na yung komplikado, pero nagtatakot tayo. Hindi nyo pwede magtatakot. Wala akong nangyayari sa inyo. Oh, 
On the scoreboard, it's 15 to 9. Meanwhile, watch the NBA 2K League APAC Invitational Tournament presented by Signal this November 17 and 18, 4.30 p.m. live only on NBA TV Philippines and Filipinas Live. 15 to 90, 15 to 9 rather on the scoreboard right now, as I mentioned. F2 trailing behind, trying to make a comeback here in our first set. Well, that's a good response off that timeout. A much needed response for F2. As Jolina de la Cruz will be on deck to serve for the white shirts. She's been having a great sophomore conference so far. I know that she had a 27 point explosion and that's her highest scoring game here in the, in the PVL. 27, that's a lot. That's a lot of points. <laughs> Aragalang fighting back. Kayuna, oh, the road story of perfection for the Signal HD Spikers as we set it over to Jaime Ascalon. I had a chance to speak to Jel Kayuna before today's game. Jel told me how she loves how vocal Vanny is. She communicates if a set is too low or too high for her. Bihira nga daw to, sabi ni Jel, because sometimes when you're a rookie or a sophomore, may hiya ka and sila pa mag adjust But for her, it's that communication that has allowed her to flourish this conference. Like I said in the pregame, mature beyond her years. Billy and Noreen? Thank you so much for that report, Jaime. And she has indeed matured more here in the PVL. It's great that she's able to communicate with Jel. Because, of course, when you're a rookie, there's an intimidation factor. And but, yeah. but for her to be able to execute properly, she needs to communicate with her teammates. That's true. That's the generation today. Soft touch is effective for Job Gonzaga. You see? You, you, you see what I'm saying about Signal? Yep. The way they're just so confident in the way they're playing today. It's really not a lot of, lot of power as well. Mm -hmm. It's just being sure about what they're going to do, about that next step. Mm -hmm. And that is why they are in the lead, 17 to 11. Doria serving. Take a look at the attack points. Eight for F2, 11 for Signal. That's a good dig. Here comes Vadi Gander with a push. Oh, good save. Good defense by Fajardo. Aragala with a comeback, no go. Gandler again. Good dig. Change of pace. Chance here for Signal. They send it to Ses Molina. One hand save there. Chance again for Signal. Gel. Whoa, what a block. Whoa. And another one. <laughs> Aragalan. And that is going to be a point for F2. What a rally. I mean, that's the best so far. It had everything, right? Good day. Yeah, blocking. The whole package. Ooh, that was good. Good one. A lot of good saves, a lot of good blocking. We will have some substitutions for Coach Reg. We got Alba coming in, as well as Fernandez making an appearance in today's match. She also came off the bench in their previous match. And another rookie for F2, hailing from FU. Two rookies, Alba and Fernandez, will join Jolina de la Cruz and the rest of F2 on the court. And we were talking about Jaime, when you were talking about the communication, there was some miscommunication there in that play. That is something that they need to work on, possibly. Four point advantage for Signal. Gonzaga will try uh, another one. Same spot, same attack, same execution. So deliberate in what they're doing, you're right, no, Billy. They just know what to do. They're looking at the weakness of F2's defense. I think the perfect way to describe it is they're at ease. They are. Yeah. They are at ease. They're not getting frazzled, even if f is trying to play catch up like that. But I mean, Aragada, that sense of urgency. A lot of people in the arena are saying that this is her resurgence. It is. It is. I mean, I totally agree. A lot, I remember she was interviewed some conferences ago and she said her power is in question, like she can't get her power back. But what, like you said, what resurgence from Aragala? Three attack points for her in this game. 
Talking about power, we got Fanny Gandler showing no signs of slowing down. And this duo of Cayuna and Gandler making up for that earlier miscue. A great set by Cayuna again, just one blocker. You know, that's what we like about Vani. Mm. You know, if she commits an mm. error, she makes up for it. ASAP, too. ASAP. And also because Kayuna gives her that opportunity. And she has three points in our ball game as Alba sends it to De La Cruz. And that is also, you know, a connection, a tandem that we have been seeing for the past couple of years at the collegiate level. Bring it here in the PVL. Yeah, and the most recent, when they won the championship, they dethroned MU, remember last yep. year, AP? You know, these are the girls, Mars Alba and Jadina De La Cruz. They were the ones who took charge. Abi Marano serving. Cayuna. Oh, another one for Jel Cayuna, this time to Riri Meneses. Oh, how about another girl with a resurgence? Riri Meneses has been so aggressive with her middle hits, with her quick attacks. In the past couple of conferences, she was a little bit quiet. And now she's alive and kicking for Signal. They have a five-point lead, one hand set. <laughs> Great thinking by John Gonzaga, but what about Cesc Molina? Powering her way through. You see the way her last-minute change of direction with her, with her hand, really just to brush it off Fernandez. And that is a veteran for you. And now we have another substitution. Yep, Arce in for who did she replace? Uh, Ethan Arce also, you know, playing pretty solid here in this conference with the playing time that she's been given. Oh, the dig. Says Molina. Alba to Fernandez. No go. Cayuna. Not this time. I look at the reaction of Doria, gave the thumbs up sign, knew she missed it, but she wasn't like blaming Kayuna for a bad set. She said, thumbs up. <laughs> but you know, for Signal, they have a pretty comfortable cushion here in our first set. Ivy Laxina checks back in, as well as Kim Fajardo. It is 16, serving 21. to serve, oh. and that goes straight to the net. Unfortunate service error for Kim Fajardo. Uh, signal inching closer to the end of set number one. I remember when we started saying the front line now, they have another strong front line and they're hoping to end this uh, with this rotation. Let's see what happens. Here comes Jolina De La Cruz finding that donut hole the defense of the HD Spikers. That's one thing F2 can actually do as well. Read the defense, read the weakness of Signal. It doesn't have to be just attacks. You can play it smart. You gotta make those adjustments if they want to extend this first set. At that point six now for Jolina. That's a good serve. And the rookie doing it all here for F2, keeping them alive in our first set. Yeah, back-to-back points for F2, but I was looking at defen the defensive formation of Signal. Doria was actually, her position was in by the attack line, so when it dropped behind her, it was actually pretty hard to get. Ses Molina. They go to Ivy Laxina, and she gets it. Three straight points. Don't look now. Yeah. Here come the F2 Logistics cargo movers as Coach Shaq will call a timeout. Oh, okay. 
Bahala ka doon sa dalawa. Kahit kanina, pwede mo bigyan yan. Pasahan mo na natin na magandang. Okay? Pwede pa sa... Okay, good naman tayo, good. Kaya lang, kailangan natin one point muna, ha? Pinistro, ha? Pinistro, ha? End game, end game, end game. NBA in-season tournament is here. Watch all 30 teams battle it out for the NBA Cup from November 4 to December 9, only on NBA TV Philippines. One Sports and Pilipinas Live. Sabi nga ng signal, do not panic. Because right now, F2 with a four to nothing run. You can feel the surge right now. F2 Logistics, they've been looking for this window of opportunity. But for Signal, listen to your coach. You know, you've erected a comfortable lead with the surge. You still have a two point advantage. Coach Shaq said they just need one point. One point. One point. Just take it one point at a time. 22 20 is our score. Here comes Cesc Molina. Oh. What a good save from Don. Molina again. She's denied. Chance here <laughs> yeah. for F2. Aragala, she's blocked. Good coverage. She'll try a second time around. Oh. Gets it. We can never count this F2 out, really. That's what they have in them. They just need that push. And they need that consistency. Yes. I think that is a big factor for F2. They need to stay consistent if they want to win matches. And Aragala, because she's playing well, her confidence is back. It's a 5 to nothing run. Wow. wow. That says a lot about what F2 is doing right oh. now. Make it a 6 to nothing run for F2. And they tie this game. And I'm looking at the sea of yellows coming to life here. It was pretty quiet at the start of yeah. the set. It's getting noisier and noisier. But if you're a Signal fan, you, you want a point. You need that point. You from need. The you desperately need a point. Will this be it? And it will. And none other than Joe Gonzaga will deliver that much needed point to the Signal faithful. Well, if you need a desperate point, you know you're gonna go to your veteran, Joe Gonzaga. Look no further. Look no further. Joe is here. <laughs> they get that slim one-point lead against F2 after a six-to-nothing run from the cargo movers. Fajardo. Oh! What? An, a, a, we didn't see that coming. <laughs> Play. Let's take a look at this. You need to look at this one more time. Look at that. So in sync to how they both lifted off the ground. Great decoy. Much to the delight of KKD. KKD. Got Eddie Casilag as well and Chini Arroyo. Oh. And just a little bit too low. Or a lot too low from Ethan Arce. Set point on Signal HD Spikers if you're Coach Shaq. You're gonna tell your team they need to toughen up. They do, they, but they need one good serve. A really good serve here. F2 on the other hand, you still have that surge ride the waves. 24 serving 23. Will they tie this game? Oh, oh that's gonna go. of the team will call for a challenge. successful challenge here for coach Reg Diego and the cargo movers 
Set score 23-25. New streaming experiences also await by the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. Back here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan, it's F2 versus a Signal HD Spikers. And what a slow burn of a set number one we just had. What are your thoughts uh, on this set, Noreen? Well, it really goes to show the level of where these teams are. You know, well, at the start of the set, you thought Signal would comfortably win the first set, right? But because F2 knows how important this match is, it's something like, something snapped, you know, they made a surge, but it was just too short. Signal was just able to a comfortable lead, so that lead enough held. Yeah, they held on. Let, let's look at the numbers. Everything just came close at the, because of the charge, attacks by one, blocking F2 by two. You can see the seven errors happened at the start of the first set. Just four for Signal, which they should be happy for. But, you know, really, it's just end game emotions for me. Two errors for F2. Parang nanggigil. Nanggigil yung F2 logistics. Uh, so last few sequences of that set number one. That was 32 minutes of play. If that was a preview for the rest of the game, <laughs> well, we're all here for it. Especially the fans that are present here in San Juan. Billy Capistrano with Noreen Go. Jaime Escalon manning the sidelines for us today. Peter Torres in the house. Watching Signal. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I answered the one, right? Yeah. They have to logistics, cargo movers. Headed by Jolina De La Cruz. Lost their previous game against Creamline. We have been mentioning that because it was an unfortunate loss mm. for them. A lot of things have been said about this team, this conference. But meanwhile, for the Signal HD Spikers and Vanny Gander, I do know that Vanny and Jolina are really, really good friends off the court. So this is going to be an interesting match uh, between the two of them as well. Set number two underway. Well, you know, for all these players, when it comes to game time, it's uh, professional, pure professionalism, nothing personal. Always nothing personal, just for the love of the game. As Signal will draw first blood in our second set. Oh, sorry, this was F2, rather. Kim Fajardo on deck to serve for the white shirts. That was a good one. Here comes oh. Cess. Fajardo to Aragalan from the back row. Good defense by Signal. Too long, too long, too strange. Hitting airs for Signal here. Oh, but they're gonna call a challenge on that last attack. They're gonna say that was ball in for, I believe that was John Gonzaga. Yeah. Uh, on the attack. That's going to be their first challenge. What an early challenge for Signal. Can't take any chances if you're the Signal HD Spikers. Quick replay. That was 
was definitely, definitely ball out. The point will stay with F2. So far, a good start for the cargo movers here in our second set. Yeah, that was an interesting challenge because it was far. I think it's more, if I'm guessing correctly, I think it's more of Coach Shaq wanting to collect the players. Yeah. And it worked well for them because Jelica Yuna with a one-two play, first one of the day for her. That's, yeah, you're right, no? That's the first one. And uh, F2 slowly reacquainting themselves with what Jel Kayuna can do with that second ball. One of the most talented setters as well that we have in the PVL right now. They go to Ethan Arce gets her first point of the ball game. <laughs> Look at the excitement of Ethan Arce. Meanwhile, let's turn it over to Jaime Ascalon. Billy and Marine, we all know Signal met by adversity earlier this conference, losing two straight and then winning three straight. Now I talked to Ses Molina about it. She said, you know, it came down to we had to remember who we were playing for. Sabi nga niya, we are all the breadwinners of our family and we look to them, look to us rather for support. They are who we play for. Para kayo ba kami bumabangon, di ba? Sabi ni Ses, when they remember this, it sparked a fire to win three straight. Now, this report is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app. Get the most extensive UAAP PVL PBA coverage all in one app. Catch all the games live in main view, multicam, and fan stream on selected games. Download the app from Google Play, Apple Store, or via PilipinasLive.com. Register now for free. Bilian na rin kayo, para kanino ba kayo bumabangon? Ikaw muna, Noreen, para kanino ka bumabangon? <laughs> when I wake up, I thank the Lord every single day. <laughs> well, you know, it's here, though, I mean, for, for a signal. Sabi nga ni Jaime, they are all the, the breadwinners of their families. And it's great that that sparked something in them. Hence the four-game winning streak. You know, aiming to make that a five-game winning streak today. And you know, people watch these players. You forget they are human beings. They have right. their own lives. Right. You know, they have their own stories and struggles. So just enjoy what they give yep. you. And they channel all of that onto the court yeah. to give us great volleyball every single game. Just like that play, that block from Cesc Molina. Single block. She's got the number of Ivy Laxina here in the second set. And Cesc Molina can do it all. Yeah, and a much needed stop there for a signal because F2 is pulling away. Yeah. Three point advantage for the cargo movers. So where are they going to go to? They send it to Aragala. She's denied. Second straight block for the girls in black. They're doing it with defense. And that's the way. Look at the way she soared over the net. That was a point for Gonzaga now with five points here in our game. Sess with four or three attacks and one block. And Fajardo sends it over again. Ara changes tempo, and she gets it. Smart move from the veteran of F2. So they're changing things up. You know, these are the bright things or the bright spots that we saw in the first set when they started to read the defense of Signal, and now they're doing it early in the second set. That's a good sign for F2. So far, both teams playing really well today, which is a treat for all the fans watching, especially if you're watching us on Pilipinas Live. That's going to be a service A, second point for Ethan. Well, they let it go, Signal did. And Ethan Arte, that was actually clearly inside. Clearly. And she did not play in their previous match against Creamline. Getting the minutes today for Coach Diego. Good serve. Gonzaga, picked up by De La Cruz. Aragala! Wow. She is on a mission in our match. I mean, for the aspiring volleyball players, you have to interview Aragala and ask her what she did in the off-season. Because right. her game totally, you know, it's like her college days, that's the Aragala of old, so resurgence. And more confident too. Yeah. I believe a lot more confident. Her body language shows it as well. That's a good block. 
Oh, there's gonna be a violation called on signal. Huh. Good start here for F2. Coach Shaq needs to regroup. He calls for time. Watch the NBA 2K League APAC Invitational Tournament presented by Signal this November 17 and 18, 4.30 p.m. live only on NBA TV Philippines and Filipinas live. And you heard it straight from Coach Shaq. This is going to be an important game. Wag niyong kalimutan. Yeah. And it doesn't end with just winning the first set. So we got we to gotta see that change happen here for the Signal HD Spikers off that timeout. Kayuna. Totoria. Ivy Laxina. That's too wide for Ivy. He's on the follow through. It's too high. On the side of F2, you have to be wary also with committing the errors. You have control here in the second set. You don't want to be giving or letting Signal get back into the set. That's right. Two unforced errors for Ivy Luxina as they send it to Aragalang straight to the hands of Cess Molina. She'll get it back and she gets a point. That's a great set from Vanny Gandler. You know why? Because the ball was actually so high, and some setters will actually just bump it, but Vanny Gandler made it work. Yeah, we said that has all the confidence right now. Stayed patient, made it work. Rose Doria with five attack points. She will serve. Her team is down by four. Aragalan. Almost a good save, good hustle by Signal, but Aragalang on fire in our match today. She is leading this F2 team, Noreen. Yeah, she has been the consistent one carrying the offensive load for the cargo movers. Right now, nine points for wow. Aragalang. And we're only just starting our <laughs> second set. She is aiming for a conference best here. Gonzaga. They're gonna, well, I can see Jove obviously asking for a check. And they will call a block touch as expected. The risk, though, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Saw the pinky there. But I was going to say, the risk is remember, they had a challenge that was unsuccessful right. already, right? So they have one left. And then they're looking at the score, it's 10 to 5. So if they. Shall, yeah, shall. If they lose. Maybe unsuccessful. Yeah, if they lose that, then they're out of challenges. Buti na lang. Successful challenge <laughs> for Signal. And that is not going to make Coach Shaq happy. At all, we can see him on the side kind of kicking the ground a little frustrated. Let's take a look at this, yeah, off the blockers. And it, it was actually just a miscue, right? Hesitation, yep, on their part. Of course, we know that you cannot hesitate when you're on that court. As Aragalam will serve, good from serve from Ara. Molina, Jolina de la Cruz. Oh. X marks the spot for the rookie. 
Ricky. Well, everyone is in it here for F2. You know how we were saying that Signal had that confidence in that first set? This time, it has fully transitioned to the side of the cargo movers. It has fully switched jerseys. So let's see, paano sasagot ang Signal? Good coverage from F2. Kayuna, they need something here. Here comes Gandler. And Vanny Gandler delivers like she always does. Yeah. That's what, what was lacking with Signal here in set number two. It has been a scrappy, like it's scrappy volleyball for them. They can't find somebody to actually take charge. And that was a good kill for Vanny Gandler. That's right. They need someone to take charge, mm. much like how Aragalang is taking charge for F2 alongside Jolina de la Cruz. So far, Vanny Gandler doing well in this game. They need a bit more. Fajardo to de la Cruz. Oh, good save. What a dig. And that is a point for Cesc Molina. Collected as always. And that is point number six for her. Yeah, and I was looking at uh, Coach Jack talking to Molina. They're not very happy with that. But they should be because it, it was a check ball. A sigh of relief <laughs> from Cess. They're down by four, talking about signal. Vanny serving. That's a good one. Oh, good save. They were Molina. Ah. And Don totally missed that one. Yeah, I mean, but we have to mention Farhardo saved that ball from hitting the antenna. It's just that Signal had a response to that. That was, I think, the most solid of hits from Molina today. That's right. We need to see more of those coming from her. More power. And the sound. Yeah, the sound of the perfect that. contact. Uh, it's Gander to serve again. That sails outside. Coach Shaq not happy. And right now we got F2 in the lead, 13 to 9. Beautiful Thursday. We also got a very beautiful matchup. We got the Glue Girls on your screens. Jolina de la Cruz and Cesc Molina. Jolina right now, seven attacks. One A Cesc with six attacks and one block. And coined by Miss Noreen, Jolina Molina. <laughs> it's a matchup that we have today. So what can you say about their performance thus far? It's pretty close, obviously, just by one. And we're you said it earlier, we're just in the midway of the second set. So I'm sure these two have more to give. Have more to give. So we are going to wait for whatever it is they have up their sleeves in today's match. So far, a much better set, a much better start for F2 compared to that first set. Mm -hmm. Shank. Molina. Fajardo is going to chase it. Oh, they said it over. Good. That's still good. Alive. Molina. Whoa. And see Abby. Quick thinking by Riri Meneses. Well, it was an overpass. 
Joseph, if you have re reminiscence at the net, that is very dangerous. Gandang regalo para kay re reminiscence. You know, but that's one person we saw a great dig from Abby Marano. That's one person I feel who is lacking here in this match. They need her contribution. Because usually we're used to her being very noisy also mm. on the court. But baka nag warm up pala. <laughs> we, we gotta wait and see. Watch more of this game. As we take a look at that last sequence from Ethan Arce. Three points for her. She's a spark off the bench, that's isn't right. she? Kayuna, the Vanny with a push. Bob said to Ivy Laxina, she's been quiet, but not for long. <laughs> Goes cross court. She has been actually struggling in terms of her contact with the ball, you know, a couple of hitting airs. But that time, that was solid. And sometimes all it takes is one good attack. Yeah. To spark something. Wow. What a move from Jill Kayuna. She was not looking that way at all. Kind of just flick the ball yeah. to the side. Let's take a look at this. There you go. Eyes to the back of her head. Jill Kayuna. That was a thing of beauty. She is so talented. This girl, 11 excellent sets for her. Slowly but surely, they're trying to play catch up. Chance here for signal as Jell. Tomorina! Another thing of beauty <laughs> from the playmaker, Jell Cayuna. Great execution by Ces Molina as well. And she's feeling it. Talking about Ces Molina, that's another good, good, uh, we heard it actually. Yung tunog, the, the sound, about. yeah. Eight points oh. for her. Oh! And just like that, it is deja vu here. thing that F2 did in that first set. Coach Reg Diego will call for time. Angat ang laban sa pinakabagong sports app na Pilipinas Live. Mapapanood ang PBA Season 48 Live in high definition and on demand on any device. Available worldwide. Download and register now for free. On the scoreboard, 15 to 13 in favor of F2. Jolina De La Cruz, the rookie for the cargo movers, doing great things in this game. Is it enough to sustain this lead though? Unfortunately, of that attack, it was a denial by Vanny Gander. Let's take a look at it again. And you were asking, well, it was, the, you said it, a denial of sorts, but what a run right now for Signal. That was Rose Doria with the block and Vanny with a cheer for her teammate. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the Signal HD spikers and those errors, but Kochak will call for a challenge. <laughs> you can see Kochak also having a good time here. Very uh, relaxed. Kahit sa time out, hindi.
and that is ball out. Definitely ball out right there. That's gonna be an unsuccessful challenge for Coach Shaq. At natawa na lang din siya. There's something fishy going on at the signal coaching staff so because signal, it wasn't close. Right. So signal ha they have no more challenges left. <laughs> It was, uh, it was planned. <laughs> did, you hear, did you hear? The second referee, Linda Rezevo, told Coach Jack, you're out of challenges. You know what Coach Jack said? Utang, utang. <laughs> He's going to borrow one from the next. <laughs> hey, Coach Jack, such a character as we all know as we get back to this game. Two-point lead for F2. Great blocking from Signal. Ethan Arce, not this time. Molina. Good save. That was done. A oh, chance here for Signal as Jell will choose Rose Doria. They were trying to chase it. Almost, but not quite. Rose Doria all smiles after that attack. She has seven points in our ball game. Yeah, you knew. You know, that, uh, you know, Doria was actually so ready for that hit, right? I mean, she's asking for it, she's going for it, and finally she gets that set. Gets the set and gets the point. Take a look at the score, Noreen. Just a one-point lead for F2. Aragalang. Good dig. <laughs> Good save. Ivy Laksina. Oh, that's going to go outside. They're going to call it outside. Are they going to call a challenge? Get your money piece. Yeah. Yeah. Because it also touched the net. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Just Coach Shaq was making was so like hard. hard. It was a strategy. I know. It's naman naman. I 16 know. all, right? Yeah. So it definitely worked for them. 16 all is our score. Ivy. What a pancake save there. Here comes Granny Gandler. Oh, and they overtake the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers in our second set. Uh, you know, as she was going up for that kill, I heard Coach Shaq scream some words of encouragement. Yeah. A little too late for Don. And right now, Signal takes the lead. That's a good pass. Baharma That's a good play. Great volleyball we're watching right now from both our teams. Tight again, 17 all. Yeah, and Arce coming off the bench is playing really well for F2 Logistics. We've got, or we've had 12 deadlocks. Wow. Our, two deadlocks rather, in our second set. I think I said one, two. Uh -oh. <laughs> so two deadlocks in our second set. Chance. Ivy. Unsuccessful, Nunag will go to John Gonzaga. We got a rally going on here. They go to Ivy Laxina again. Back set to John Gonzaga, makes it work. 
Ada Galang. <laughs> and Ada Galang, we talked about her resurgence. And she has just been that spark for F2, a much needed point. And she is showing signal. This is how you do an off-speed attack. This is how you score the point. We'll see how the Signal HE Spikers will adjust to this. Yeah, that's too strong. We saw the flight of the ball. That's going to be a free point given to Signal. A chance for them here. Ooh, close second set we're having. What a treat for our Volleyball Thursday here at the PVL. You have the veteran Jov Gonzaga as Rose Doria will be on deck to serve for the HD Spiders. Fajardo, we go to Adam Galang. What a dig by Jessica. Good stop. Chance here for F2. an exclamation point from Ada Galang. Look at that. Great angle Goodness. Uh, on the attack. So we're all happy for her. Yeah. Uh, look what Ada has been through. Right now, we got substitutions for F2. We got Mars Alba, Joe Fernandez checking in. And a bit of a breather for F2. Just a little bit. A Just little, a little bit. bit. Alba to Aragalang again. Not this time. Kayuna to Vanny Gadler. Oh, that's how. Muscling her way through. Yeah, and that's how Kayuna is spreading the, the hitters, you know, making the blockers work double time. Vanny Gadler. Just magic in that attack. They tie this game 19 all. Chin Basas checks in for the first time in our ball game, as well as Giselle C. Mm. Former Lady Tamarau is on the court. Straight off the bench. Unfortunate service error for Giselle. Nerve setting in, obviously, for even the veteran setter. Babalik ang lead sa F2 Logistics. Ara now with 11 points. C to Meneses. That's such a great set. Just one blocker, which is Maranyo on Meneses. Riri Meneses. Beautiful attack. Great read on the defense as well of F2. 20 all. And we have a long way to go. Vanny serving. Alba goes to Fernandez. Oh. Joe Fernandez on the bench. Gets a point. You know what I like about that shot? It, it could be nerve setting it. Could be she wanted to hit it long, but because she changed it, I mean, it caught Vanny Gander by surprise. It was so high. What a serve. Nunag bump set to Ces Molina. Alba one hand set to Ethan Arce. It's a lie. Oh! This opportunity for Signal puts F2 at a two point advantage. That was a painful miscue because it was a good save already. That's one, that's two. And nobody it was right in front of them. Miscommunication. Maybe the other per person thought na she yung sasalo ng bola. They need a comeback here. Ses Molina. Alba. That was Fernandez on the attack. And she couldn't believe it too after. She gets it through Ria Meneses actually. And that would, you know, that if you were a rookie going up against someone like Riri Meneses, I think you'd have the same I know, I too. know. And her teammates as well. And we <laughs> love that for her. 23 20 in favor of F2. Here comes Alba. 
Angel Cayuna with a wonderful play. Oh, good read. Nandun si Alba. Fernandez. Better anticipation by Signal. Oh! Jolina Cruz puts F2 at set point. Boy, you know, this six, you love the substitution, the timing of bringing Fernandez and Alba. This six is really working hard to claim the set number two. You know, Noreen, it's really that next man up mentality yeah. for, for F2. And you can't help but also feel happy for the likes of Jov, right? Fernandez, of Ethan Arce. But if you're a Signal fan, something has to happen. It has to happen now. Fernandez! That is outside. <laughs> that is outside. Signal has this chance. Can they? Asking for a check, but obviously KKD and the rest of them asking for a check. And they will call for a block touch. right now for the F2 Logistics cargo mover. Yeah. Against the Signal HD Spikers team, they're up by four points. They're at set point awaiting this very crucial block touch challenge. You know, what can you say about this team and what does Signal need to do? Oh wait, let's first take a look at this before you answer that question. Was there? There wasn't any. Yeah. No block touch. Well, there you have it. Dave. Back to my question. What do you yeah. think about the, the rookies on the court and what does Signal need to do? You know, the answer to that for me is during the huddle, we saw it. The excitement they had during that huddle when Coach Regine was talking, and you, you know they wanted to end it. They're bringing that here at the latter that part. The energy. Yeah, the energy at the latter part of the second set. And for Signal, well, they need something to happen right now. Julina De La Cruz! And you can see uh, Lenny Gantler watching where the ball was going to fall, immediately cheering when it went outside. Yeah, we saw that follow through. It's like pushing it. Eh? It's not going down. You're not directing it to the floor. Chance to breathe for Signal. And that is it! Our second set. That was a very anticlimactic end to our set number two. That was a service error from Riri Meneses and the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Stay alive in our second.
New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. After the logistics, take that second set and 35 minutes of play from the Signal HD Spikers. And it was a rise of the rookies for the cargo movers. Yeah, it, I'm just so excited for the next few sets, really, after the first two sets. A lot of people prior to this game, I heard some talk saying that, oh, Signal, because they have a four, three or four game winning streak, uh, they're going to win it easily. And some people are saying, no, F2 is going to make Bowie. And it looks like both sides. You know that they have their point, but this is such a great game so far. Believe in everything; it, ha it has all the ingredients for a feast, and we are treated today to such good volleyball. And I'm sure all our fans are quite happy to be mm. watching this match as well, because I know that two of us are <laughs> at the edge of our seats. Yep. But before anything else, Serena, let's take a look at our set number two statistics. What numbers kind of stand out to you the most? Well, the errors of F2 down to five. So. That's one thing that they corrected. Blocking still went signals way, but you know, really, I don't think it's the numbers, much of the numbers here. It's more of the attitude of F2 in set number two. You felt that after they got that one special point, and then, you know, I can't, yeah, I can't remember which exactly, <laughs> but I'm going to quiz you on that. <laughs> but, you know, that after that, and then they felt you know that confidence again then they started playing the way their fans want to see right that fight in them especially after that sorry loss you know mm. straight sets gustong bumawi at bumabawi naman which is a good thing about f2 but we gotta commend signal as well for that first set they have it locked down now it's in their hands Right, you know that the energy is here with the F2 Logistics cargo movers. If you're signal, how are you gonna adjust? Yes. How are you gonna keep, you know, with pace dito sa, sa F2 with all the energy that they've been giving off? How, how will you respond? Because again, you're going back to the old signal that even Coach Jack would say, you're forgetting how important this game is. That you know? we saw in that game against Choco Mucho, uh -huh. that was our last loss. And there was a four-game winning streak. Here we go, set number three. Well, that is a good sign <laughs> for the Signal HD. They need more of that energy coming from their side. Well, they just have to remember, for me, how they played in, in the first set. Everybody was just on point. Then the second set, they started off with two straight airs, then the challenge, and then everything just went haywire, and F2 just took advantage. Alba sends this to Jolina. Vanny Gander, she's blocked. They go to Gonzaga, challenging the blockers of F2. They find Jolina. Good save. That was Jerica Yuna. Ooh. Jolina again. Dug up by Vanny. What a save by <laughs> Jerica Yuna. That was close. Ethan Arce, not this time. Ethan again. What a rally! <laughs> this is, has been going on since forever. Nobody's oh, giving up, not yet. Still alive! Chance here for F2. De La Cruz! <laughs> Jel Cayuna. That is it. That will go outside, though, for Vanny Gander, but we gotta take a hot minute to kind of <laughs> reassess and go back to what just, what just happened. We have Vanny Gander with that point, but before that, it was Jel Cayuna with a save. Saves. The yep. saves. 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 Actually, both sides of the court, F2 and Signal, great defense, but that just that last hitting error of Vanny Gander. It's gonna be another point here for F2. That's gonna be a service ace for Mars Alba. That's her first point. Well, if we will, if we will use set number two as a basis, this is a good, another good start for F2. Great blocking by Ethan Arce. Here comes Vanny Gandler, denied. Gonzaga, nandoon si Galang, Aragalang. Says telling everybody to relax. Here comes Vanny. Kayuna back set to Vanny. She wasn't ready for that. No call. Soft touch, no good. And nobody there to the side of F2 as we check in with Jaime Ascalon. 
you guys for talking a lot about Aragalang and her resurgence this conference. Well, for the F2 coaching staff, it's actually quite simple. It boiled down to the strength and conditioning of Ara in the offseason. Hence, you are seeing some power in her hits. Well, the mentality and belief never left Ara, said Coach Reg. Despite all that, everything that what make her, makes her a special player is the mentality that she continues to believe in, in herself regardless of what other people are saying. Now, continue to watch the PVL here on Filipinas Live app, which you can download for as low as 149 pesos a month. Galin, Noreen? Thank you for that report. Jaime, tama ka nga, Noreen, it's really the strength and conditioning that Ara was doing in the off-season. And also, you know, that, that confidence in herself and that belief in herself. And I'm sure all the fans out there, not just of F2, but of Ara, are really, really happy that she, she's back in peak form. Yeah. Oh. But what about that block? Peak but form? Peak form? Question mark. Question mark. Speaking of peak form, <laughs> blocking from Riri Meneses and they they need that right they need that from their veterans from this team they need to make a comeback here in the third set they're up by two points good sign for signal then you know if you look at the lineup now of signal it's just Vanny Gandler who is the rookie these veterans are playing against mostly rookies how will you respond to that? <laughs> Are you going to make them feel that, hey, we're here, this right. is our turf? But just as you say that, F2 gets another point. Let's take a look at the leading scorers first. Galang with 11 points. Molina with 10 points in our ball game. And you know, sometimes people talk about, you know, changes in, in coaches. but. Coach Regine, what she can claim right now is Aragalang became good under her watch. That's right. <laughs> Kayuna. Fights the tag, and that was also a block. Whoa. Speaking of, that was a good block, but the point will go to signal. But we have to commend the effort right here of the rookies yeah we're talking about them they're fighting they're fighting hard but of course the veterans of the signal H E spikers know exactly what to, what do. to do but what you like is a rookie like fernandez who's challenging right. getting a hand at that later on she'll learn how to position her hands better out of galang soft touch straight to the hands of ses molina good oh. dig by dawn fernandez tries is denied. Oh, what about Riri Meneses with that back row attack? Look at that. You don't see that a lot. At all. We do not see that at, at all. all. At all. We're seeing the change in the game of Signal, adding different variety. As they should, we had set the job. And she gets it finally. She, she's been trying. She gets the point. She's playing it smart. She got. She did get blocked early on, so you have to change things up. So far, good adjustments for Coach Reg Diego. Fielding in Mars Alba, Joe Fernandez, and Ethan Arce. Yeah, but what a save by Mars Alba. You saw the way she, she saved that ball from touching the net. That's going to be a service error. Ethan Arce, that's her third of the game already. Again, you know, you see her, the excitement. She's just like a kid inside a candy store when she's playing. Yeah. yeah. So she needs to move further. Three point advantage for Signal. Fernandez again. Well, that's going to be in. That's going to go in for Joe Fernandez. Yeah, it happened right in front of our first referee, Nestor Bello. That was a check ball off, I think, uh, Doria. Four points now for Fernandez. And I believe this is the first time that she has scored in a game here oh, okay. in, the, in the PVL, which is a great thing for her. This conference, you mean? Or yes, this conference. Oh, okay. Yeah, but what a stop there. A child a child actually between not really a joust, but you know, between two veterans, Molina and Marano, and Molina gets a stuff block. 
Three-point lead for Signal. Oh. Oh, it's still alive. Chance here for the HD Spikers. A denial, but a save, too. Good. They're gonna chase this. Yeah, good chase. They're gonna keep it alive. Oh. Good thing it went to the other side. If you're a if you're an F2 fan, here comes Mars Alba giving it to Arangalan. Kayuna. To Ses oh. Molina, what a save. No one wants to give this, give up this point. Oh. Not on my watch. Woo. That, that, those are the endings we like, right? You know, With after, the exclamation yeah, point. After a good rally, then you see this. Bam! Fanny wow. Gamble, pure power. You can see it in her reaction as well. She's meant to be here. She is. She is meant to be here. It was written in the stars. <laughs> F2 down by four. But what about Abby Marano? You were saying that she was a little bit quiet the past few sets. Finally! And that should actually boost the confidence of this captain. Get more sets. Let her take charge. Three point advantage for Signal. It's our third set. Both teams playing amazing volleyball. Vanny apologizes to Gel. Chance for Jolina. Off the block. <laughs> Did you see that reaction of Jolina? That's a Abby Marano kind of reaction. You gotta Take a look at it for those who weren't able to see. You gotta see this. Nope. There. <laughs> There! But you know, it's great to see both teams having fun too. Mm. They're having a good time. And I'm sure all the fans watching now are having a good time yeah. watching this. Coaches always say enjoy, right. you know? There's a huge difference. Oh, we have someone down. With a job. Gonzaga, but you okay? Well, someone is caught fishing there at the net, and that was Doria. One point lead for Signal, but F2, a chance here. Here comes Aragalang. Vanny, dug up by Jolina. De La Cruz! <laughs> you wouldn't even expect. I really think the game plan right now of F2 is use a lot of off speed, you know, trying to go over the blockers. You've seen a lot of that. That was a. Smart, smart play by Jodina De La Cruz. And they tie this game. Third deadlock. Four to nothing run by F2. How is Signal gonna answer? De La Cruz! <laughs> Two straight points for Jones. Another drop shot, another point. Now you see the weakness of Signal's defense. You know, you have tall receivers, Molina and Gonzaga, and you want to try to keep them moving. One point lead for the cargo movers. Oh, oh. Well, was it, good? it was going to go out. But they call it in. But there was a. Let's see, let's see. Para mag agree tayo sa, sa nangyari. It's good, it's good. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Let us not assume too much. <laughs> Two point lead for F2. Vanny, dug up by Ara. Abby oh. Marano. Everybody just getting involved here for, for F2. The energy is, is just all around. They're sharing it with one another. And if you're Coach Reg Diego, you, you, you gotta be happy about this. Mm. But that's all I can say. She's back talking about Abby Marano and happy for the F2 Logistics fan. Fans. We got Jerry, Jerry Lee Malabanan checking in for the first time for Coach Ashak in place of Vanny Gandler. This is a chance here for, for F2. Alba, want to play, no good. Still alive. They choose Ara. Single block. Abi Morano. Gel. Gel oh. can you not expect exactly that from her? Yeah. That's a good read for Gel to solve.
so quick. That's so smart, so smart. Court sense for you, look at that. And Ada kind of let it go. It she just kind of slowed down a little yeah. bit as she was approaching it. No, she knew she couldn't get to it. Eight points for Rose Doria. Two point advantage for F2. Botch play. Riri. Job from the back. That's uh, way off for Fernandez, but they are asking for a check. She was pretty confident with that check, too. I wasn't sure because I was looking at the <laughs> F2 Logistics side and it's like, yes, no, yes, no. But they do call a block touch. <laughs> a fault that your hit was over the blockers. <laughs> That's a perfect example. Well, it's a good sign for, for <laughs> Signal. They're down by one. <laughs> the Cruz! It's going to be too strong for Jolina. Quickly apologizing to Coach Reg. Signal ties this game. Yeah, that sounded good, but yeah, that... You know, they, it lacked that flick of that wrist. Fourth deadlock of our third set. Take a look at the attack faults. Five for F2. And Jolina clearly enjoying this game. Gets another point as we head on over to our first technical timeout. 13 to 12. this 2023 as a Spikers Turf Invitational Conference gets going every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and Filipinas Live. And we did have a poll question a while ago. We asked that during our pregame. Let's take a look at the question again. Which team will have sharper attacks? Obviously, have two choices, F2 or Signal. Let's take a look at the results for F2, 60% for Signal, 40%. Were you expecting this? Because we we did ask you mm. in the start. Attack efficiency first, Noreen. F2 with 31.25% and Signal with 28.81%. The numbers are actually pretty close. The poll question actually is very subjective, right? Uh, more of fan base, but you know, we said 
what's at stake for both these teams. For F2, you really want to build a momentum right. because of your victories and who you've competed against and who you will still compete against, right? So they want to win this match. Right now, neck to neck here in our third set, 13 all. It is a fifth deadlock. In the third, as Jalkayuna on deck to serve 13 excellent sets for her in our ball game. De La Cruz, <laughs> she is unstoppable in our match today. And she, you know, that was a better execution of that cross court attack. Remember, she hit it wide earlier. And what you like from Jolina De La Cruz, she's mixing things up. You know, she has drops, off speed. Then She's not predictable. Yeah, and she's one of the more versatile players uh, for, for F2 and Coach Regine Diego. Here comes Riri Meneses. A quick one from Riri. You know, Meneses, this conference looks healthy physically, and that makes a lot of difference. She's looking good inside the court. 14 all. Malabanan on deck to serve. Good serve. Fernandez, she's blocked. They're gonna chase it. No good. Puntos para su signal. Great read. Look at the front row. Look at the trio or the trio in front. That's a good shot. That's a good one. Good one. <laughs> they have Gonzaga, Meneses, and Molina up front. Malabanan to serve. To De La Cruz, she's blocked. Fernandez tries, ducks it in. Oh, it's still alive. Oh, it is. It's yeah. alive. Oh. Okay, not anymore. <laughs> you would not expect. Yeah. Apologies for that. Well, we have to take a look at this. So it goes. No, that, that one was the kill of Fernandez. Oh, no, no, it is. Correct, it correct, correct, correct. the elbow of Riri that yeah. dropped yeah, the yeah, ball yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Yan ang panapos de la Cruz. Well, she has a hot hand. Now, assess Molina. She has 13 big points to lead the way for Signal. Yeah, but what a set by Cayuna. You know, she had to bend down for that. One point lead for the HD Spikers. Riri Meneses with seven points of her own. They're gonna chase it. They're gonna send it over. Pretty high ball. Kayuna. Oh. On fire. It's a great combination. Now look, look at this. Toria Molina. Blockers not established. That was Ethan Arce and Joel Fernandez going for that block. Mm, shank. Chance here. Molina. De La Cruz. Whoa. Still gets it. And that is her 17th point of our game. So remember our matchup. Mm -hmm. We had Cesc Molina and Jolina De La Cruz. Right now, Molina has 14. De La Cruz has 17. Mm -hmm. And we're not yet done. More numbers it's for only, these. It's a third set. We don't know how long this is going to go for. Oh. It's going to be a sorry service error again for Ethan Arce. Service error is piling up for her in our ball game. And you know they're chasing. They're down, was it by one? Yeah. Oh, no referee's whistle, I guess, right? So lucky break for Arce. Cayuna, one hand set. Of the hands of Abby Maraño. Middle blocker versus middle blocker. Great job again by Cayuna, keeping that ball in play. 16 signal leading Aragalang John Fernandez getting the job done 
just finishing what Ana started. Yeah, and just staying aggressive at the net. You can put that down after a block. You know what she's capable of. We've seen her mm. in the UAAP. We know she's good. We know she's talented. It's all about getting that opportunity to show it to us again. Mm -hmm. Chance here for Signal. Kayuna to Seth oh. can do no wrong. Targeting Jolina there. Yeah, but she's playing well today, yes? Really Seth Molina. Is. Molina targeting Jolina. She is averaging close to 17 points per game. Seth Molina. Yes. Uh -huh. She's one of the more consistent players for, for Coach Shaq. Expected, though. A little too low, that's still alive. Playable. Oh, that was four touches. <laughs> they thought they were going to get away with it. Well, that does not go over. I believe that was Jen Kayuna. Yeah, she hit it to the net. And then they saved it and then played another touch. So that, that made the four touches. One point advantage still for Signal, but there's a chance for F2 to tie this game again. Mm. A little momentum buster there for Aragada. Yeah, I would say pretty uncharacteristic because she's been solid today. Gala has 12 points. One out of two cargo movers with double digits, the other one, of course, being De La Cruz. Alba finds Jolina. And you like the reaction of Jolina, when she knows it's gonna be an off a block point for her. And her efficiency is so high today. She's been doing this again and again yeah. and again. Oh, they gotta find an answer for that. Okay, we like that. You know, she was featured in the matchup against an MVP in Cesc Molina. Malabanan tries, unsuccessful. Argalan. Riri has blocked and tried to save it. Does not work out for Signal, and F2 will tie the game. That's just a huge stop for F2 there. Coach Shaq, sensing they need to regroup, will call for time. to December 9, only on NBA TV Philippines, One Sports and Pilipinas Live. Hashtag NBA on Signal, hashtag always a fan. Jel Cayuna and the rest of the Signal HD Spikers staying alive here in our third set. As Mars Alba will find De La Cruz. <laughs> we did say she has a hot hands and why not go to her? And she has reached the 20s, 20 big points for Jolina De La Cruz, also in her sophomore conference here in the PVL. Vani is having her breakout performance in the, in the All Filipino Conference, but so is Jolina. Yeah. Aragalan. Malabanan. Straight to the hands of Ara. Good chase. De La Cruz makes it work. Kayuna finds Jerry Lee. Ah. And it's outside for Jer. Boy, that's a two-point lead. And we, you know the ratings are going here in this third set. That's pretty big already. And Vanny Gandler is back on the court for Coach Shaq. Right now, F2. 
They lead by two points in our third set. Narana has been serving good. Oh, well, that is outside for Riri Meneses. Overcalculates that one. And she knew at the moment she let go of the ball. It's actually her approach. She jumped too near the net, so when the set was there, she didn't have much room to work with. Substitutions for Coach Shaq, Chin Basas, Giselle C. Back on the court again. It's 23 serving 20. Another good serve. Vanny. Jolina. Oh. Great hustle by Signal. Vanny again. Vanny <laughs> carrying Signal on her back in that attack, in that play. It's been her. Cesc Molina, Riri Meneses, and of course, Jen Cayuna. Yeah, much needed point on the side of Signal. And remember, Vanny Gandler came off the bench, but I had a time to think, but they're still down by two. 16 excellent sets for Jel Cayuna. As we mentioned, Signal is down by two points in our third set. Oh, good team! Cayuna! Good dig. Oh! And what happened there, Noreen? No, I feel Gonzaga is favoring her leg because every time she goes up, there's a bit of hesitation right. when she lands. Look at this. Okay, after she hits. Right? That, that's what, and then the ball went her way, so she couldn't actually prepare to, to get that. She just wasn't also ready, ready. ready for that. But right now, F2, set point. Here comes Vanny. Tries to calm everyone down. <laughs> Take a lap. 24, 22, and Vanny Gandler really just the level of play. Different levels, you're correct. It is so different from, we, we already know that she's good. We knew she was yeah. good. But she's on a different level here in the pros. Rightfully so. Here comes Vanny on deck to serve. That's a good one. Fernandez. Single has to be careful. Says Molina. Oh, the block. Not yet. <laughs> Signal still alive here. As Coach Rich Diego will try to pacify things, we'll call for time. is what we have on the scoreboard at this moment. Jolina De La Cruz powering through in our third set. The Ates, at the KKD, at the Kiana. We have Chini Arroyo as well. Must be so proud of how the, the young bloods are really taking on that challenge here. But what about Vanny Gander as well? Oh! <laughs> That's gonna be an ace! They're not a challenge, it's not yet. What a serve that was. And everything just happening all at once in this game. The 
Let's take a look. It was half and half. <laughs> it, you know, Fernandez did feel the ball. Right. However, I guess it's just the, the nerves that it wasn't 100%. And I think those kinds of challenges are really, really, really hard to call. They yeah. The saves like that. At any rate, <laughs> more volleyball here in our third set. 24 all. Extended. Ninth deadlock. Yeah, and an extended set, so to speak. Game face is on for both our squads. Vanny. Jolina. Denied. Fernandez will try. Says Jolina. Oh. <laughs> the veterans are coming to play, but prior to that, Benessis and Molina were complaining of a no I call. I saw that, yes. I think it was a job. Yeah. Or I think it was either Jov or Jolina. Jolina, but prior to that, right? But they kept playing and now they have set point. It's a four to nothing run in favor of Signal. Vanny continues to serve. Good serve. Set point on Signal. We gotta take a look at this last play. Nope. It was Gonzaga, actually. Oh, good job, Gonzaga. <laughs> Who knew exactly what was going to happen? What a second, what a third set for everybody. Will Streaming experiences also await by the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. 34 minutes of play for that third set. The Signal HD Spikers make a comeback in, a, in that set number three. And what a set number three that was. Read everything happening all at once. You know, we continue to stay at the edge, on the edge of our seats. Yeah, I mean, they, you said it, no, Billy. It was a comeback in great fashion because at the end, yes, we will, I will give it to Vanny Gander. Pressure pack serves. She put them in. You know, remember right. the one that trickled over the net. But the net defense of Molina, Meneses, and Gonzaga, the veterans coming into play because they knew, you know, how important this match is. Let's take a look at our set number three statistics. They did it in defense. That's all I can say. Attacks. It was F2 logistics, but look at the blocking. Six to one. I mean, huge, huge performance in terms of defense for Signal. And that, you know, that's why they came through in that set. That was F2 set to lose. And they did it because of great blocking on the side of Signal. That's right, Noreen. Top blockers for Signal. We have Job Gonzaga with that last block to seal the deal in our third set, as well as Riri Meneses. What a game for, for Ria Meneses here. 
just really showing what she's capable of. Yeah. What we what we expect from her. National team member, but you know what I like is remember that last point was a block, like you said from Gonzaga, and her reaction after. It's like she needed that. Correct. No? She she, she got a break free. Yeah, she came from uh, military commitments. That's right. why she was able to prepare well. So she's slowly getting into the game and. You know, set point, she gets the point through a block. And that is why we are here. Set <laughs> number four. It continues. Thank you so much for watching us on the Pilipinas Live app. Billy Capistrano, Noreen Go, Jaime Ascalon. Still here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. It's F2 versus Signal. And we are greeted by a service error from Mars Alba. Signal gets this first point of our fourth set. Well, based on, if, if I'm not mistaken, based on the last three sets, really, whoever scores the first point mm -hmm. ends up winning. Well, we'll that's see. just amazing. We'll see. That. We will see. De La Cruz powers through, muscling her way through. She is really. You were saying, or you were mentioning Vanny Gandler playing in a different level. What about Jolina De La Cruz today? So consistent. She is the one actually leading the charge for F2. I think that's the right word to describe her. She is consistent. She is. You can give her the ball and you know you're safe. It's in safe hands. Chows at the net. One by Riri. And it's nice to see Sigal kind of loosening up a little bit. Second set, you can see it in their, their body language, facial expressions. But now, medyo ano na sila, medyo lax na sila yeah. na yeah. as you can see. And uh, you know, Arce getting on the job training there in terms of jaws and none, yeah, none best than from Ria Meneses. Alba to Arce, blocked. Fernandez, soft touch, still alive. They go to Cess. Ara tries. Good save. That was Kayuna again. Oh. A little too late for Don. What a cross court from Cesc Molina. You know, she, because of great ball distribution by Jel Kayuna, no, everyone's getting a touch, but every time it's crucial, Cesc Molina, Molina just comes through. She's just so reliable, yeah. too, for, for Signal and for Coach Shaq. Re reigning MVP. Of course. <laughs> what more can we Respect, ask for? Respect, right? As we turn it over to Jaime Ascalon. Billy and Marine, the girl, the Signal girls did say that they really do miss Rachel Andakes. She's the bubble of energy that when things, well, nothing is going right, she would totally change the vibe. But Cesc Molina, her leadership style is actually quite different. A vocally, vocal on finding solutions. That is something that I really observed in set two lost and the set three win. Every huddle, she would give advice, communicate on the little things, the little adjustments as a feature of her leadership style. Now, you continue to watch beautiful games like this in the PBL here on Filipinas Live app, which you can download for as low as 149 pesos a month. Billy and Marine. Thank you so much for that report, Jaime. And we all know that Cesc Molina, she's always cool, calm, and collected when she's when she's on the court. I'm glad to know that she's stepping up as a leader as well for this team in place, you know, in the absence rather of, of Rad. And hopefully we get to see Rad soon. So, hopefully fingers crossed. <laughs> Well, she will be mighty proud of this team and what they're doing here in this fourth set. They are up by three points, and that last one was care of Job Gonzaga. And they are pulling away, you know, erecting a comfortable lead. As we'd like to say hi to our colleague, Sir Sam Sarmenta. Enjoying, he texted me, enjoying the nail fighter. <laughs> Hi, Sir Sev. Enjoying this game. Well, it is definitely such a fun game to watch. Well, right now, especially if you're a Signal fan, because <laughs> they are taking control of this fourth period. Well, now the challenge for F2. Are you going to bring in Ivy Laxina? Are you going to bring in Majoy Baron? We haven't seen them. In the third, right? Third and fourth set, I think. The uh, last time we saw them was no. the second set. Or early correct, on correct. the third set. Second and third. Right. right. Yeah. Leading scorers in the Cruz 21. Molina with 18, our premier matchup. 
with a showdown today. Bump set. Gonzaga. Oh. That's a good save by Mars Alba. Cayuna to Doria. No good. Fernandez. They're going to chase it. So playable. <laughs> and they set it over, and here comes F2. Aragalang. Good dig by Vanny. Another chance for F2. Ara again wasn't ready for that. Well, still alive, long rally. And we've been having a lot of run rallies in this game. We're not complaining, though. We aren't. Chance. Says Molina. And she is going to end that rally with a sigh of relief, too. And one thing I can say about Says Molina, really, not the flashiest of players, right? But as effective, she makes volleyball look so simple. It's just efficient. Period. Efficient. Simplicity at its finest. Ria Meneses, we were just talking about her a while back. Nine points, five attacks for her. Signal up by five points. Oh, that was a really good save by Jen Cayuna. Defense on point. Aragalang. Bounces back. Fernandez. Still alive. Cesc Molina. Oh. And that's going to be a point for Cesc. Back to back. I was looking at uh, Dawn. Makatili Katitik. So frustrated. Look at this with that miscue right here. After this. F2 timeout. The next led chameleons, very happy. Siyempre, nanalo sila in their previous game, straight sets against Gallery's Tower. And also a great game against Akari, mm -hmm. their sister team. It's a five, make that a six. A five to nothing run by, by Signa. Like celebrate kasi si Rose Doria. <laughs> but it is a point for F2. Well, that stopped the bleeding right there. Okay. In terms of attacks, in terms of our matchup, it's 19 to 18 in favor of Jolina de la Cruz. And then, in terms of efficiency, 44 for de la Cruz and 35 for Melina. We did mention the efficiency of de la Cruz today. And she has been playing so, so well for F2. They are down by four points. So oh. make that five points. when he pointed, when Gonzaga pointed to Coach Shaq after that. They had some low fives right there. Look at that. You called it, Coach. And it's just, you know, high time for, for Job Gonzaga to really show what she's made out of here in our game. And what about Cesc Molina? Good dig. Oh, that's going to be a point for Signal. Signal, they're up in this game, two sets to one. So this is going to be very, very crucial. Oh, we have the Coron checking in for the first time in our game. Look at the six of F2 right now. Coach Eugene using new faces. Oh, except for Ana Gala, who's still in, but of course she's been playing well. We have Andal also on the court for Coach Reg Diego. In place of Dawn, here comes Ara. She's been a little bit silent the past few plays. Kayuna to Vanny Gander denied. Gonzaga trying not to get stepped on. Ara Galang. 
That is inside, clearly, for Aragalang. That is classic Aragalang for you. The no-look go down, down that's, the that's line. That's what she's known for. Exactly what she's known for. And she has been doing that since her collegiate days. We have Aragalang, speaking of, on deck to serve. Her squad is down by five points here in our fourth set. Kayuna want to play. Dawn was ready for it. Good reflexes by Makalili. <laughs> Katindig. Here comes Jolina. Block. Good cover. Ara. Kayuna. Todoya oh. with a little bit of hang time. Using her left there. You gotta take a look at this again. <laughs> Just hang out in the air for, for a little bit. So far, so good for the HD Spikers in our fourth set, carrying that momentum that they had in that third one. That come from behind. Ses Molina, 20 big points off 18 attacks. Good serve. And two blocks for her. Here comes De La Cruz. She ain't done yet. She got to shake things up here in our fourth set. Actually, she needs help from her teammates. You know, she has been, we said, the consistent right. one. 22 big points for De La Cruz. The Coron, six serving 11. Cayuna will find Vanny Gandler. De La Cruz. From the back row, Molina. Good dig. Jaws again. Oh. Slicing through that block. Oh, she's literally rallying her squad by her lonesome there. Look at that. Another kill by Jolina De La Cruz. Remember, her top performance in our second AFC was 27 points right now. She has 23. <laughs> Four points almost. shy. Almost. Here comes Vanny. Answers back. And these two, again, they're very close friends. <laughs> On the court. FYI. FYI. It's great to see that, that little rivalry going on here from these two rookies, of course. And, and given that they're young and rookies, like you said, that's going to be... That's going to last for quite some for time. For quite some time. Many years to come. And that is something that we're going to enjoy. Yeah. Oh, a little too off for Jelena. Oh, there's a check. They're going to call a check on that. And she knew it right from the get-go. So it's been Jolina, Vani, back to Jolina. <laughs> yeah. And for F2, for me, they need that push again that we saw in set number two. That push, that one. That, that fire starter. Yeah. Four-point lead. Now, Cayuna, to Vani. Alba, to De La Cruz. Molina from the back row. Katindig, to Fernandez. And finally, she gets one. She's been trying mm. countless of times. She's been getting blocked. Finally gets that, that point. And could this be the rally that F2 has been looking for here in the fourth set? We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, oh Riri Meneses. We've, we've seen her you know, do that so many times in today's game. So effective as always. Signal in the lead, 13 to 9.
watch the PBA 3x3 second conference this year every Monday and Tuesday only on One Sports, PBA Rush, and Pilipinas Live. PBA 3x3, lakas ng tatlo. Still here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan, Billy Capistrano, Noringo, Jaime Ascalon. Thank you for joining us on Filipinas Live. We are watching this beautiful game between the Signal HD Spikers and the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Fourth set. Still do not know, you know, who is going to win this set, this game. It is that interesting, that exciting for all our fans. Godina de la Cruz. 24 big points for her under her belt. And Vanny Gandler as well. No, I, I want to say I was looking during the technical timeout. I was looking at the huddle of F2. Normally, if you're frustrated, like you're bench, your starter, you're benched by your coach. No, you're frustrated, you just stay in the bench. This one, you see the young ones. You see Abby Miranda there. I mean, talking to them, cheering them on. That, you know, that respect for me, respect for Abby. The leadership of Abby, and I think that's something that Abby is known for. She's a vocal leader, and a lot of the, the young ones really look up to her. And that's so humbling for me. I mean, that's so humbling that, you know, yeah, okay, I'm benched, but, you know, I'm still here. I'm going to cheer you on. I mean, uh, you know, the, the things that the fans don't actually see. It's really that leadership that kind of binds F F2. And they have those role models in their team. And that's why they have that confidence talking about the rookies. Well, right now, they need that confidence because they are down by two points. That's wow. going to be an attack error on Vanny Gandler. Score now 11 to 13. Still in favor of the Signal HE Spikers, but this is going down the wire. Yeah, the reason why I say wow is because you felt at the start of the fourth set that Signal's going to just cruise here in the fourth right. set. But slowly but surely, now it's just a two-point game. They're crawling their way up. Talking about F2. Gonzaga. They send this one to Aragalang. Oh. Defense on point for Signal. Chance here for F2. And they go. Oh. Ethan Arce. And the Ates of the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Cheering them on from the sidelines. You see Myla Pablo also on the side. Abby Marano, of course, you have KKD watching in the stands. Kim Fajardo as well. It's a one-point ball game in it's, our fourth set. It's a close one here. Good serve. Whoa. Does not go over. Not over for Vanny Gandler. Take a look at the score in the ring. We are at a deadlock, 13 all. Boy, this scrappy bunch from F2, you gotta say, almost all rookies are giving signal and the veterans a run for their money. When you're given that opportunity, you have to show up, and that's exactly what they're doing. But, Jov Gonzaga, time and time again, you know, we've been watching her play. You know that she can put a stop to any fit there. Yeah. Right? She she is just that kind of girl. And in today's game, really, you know, when needed, you see the big points. The Coming big from her. Yeah, the big guns come from the you know, from the veterans. Vanny on deck to serve. Fernandez. Babalik sa F2. Coach Reg, Coach Reg kind of looking at her. Sure, Kava? Um, what do you think? I don't, I didn't see. Uh, it's a net yeah, touch. Yeah, 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 You're going to yeah, call yeah. for a net touch. Let's wait. We have to wait and see for the, the results.
Was there in that touch? There was. You can see it. I think it was uh, the, uh, the, the hand? knuckle or the pinky or. Yeah, possibly the knuckle or the pinky of John Gonzaga. Well, good call. That's going to be a successful challenge for the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. I actually thought it was going to be a blind right, touch. Yeah. So good challenge, like you said. Good challenge. We're tied. 14 all. Third deadlock of our fourth set. Shola Alvarez, serve specialist. Good serve. Cayuna. Tariri, single block, no good. She knows exactly what to do. <laughs> and uh, a bit of celebration after, flexing the muscles there. <laughs> this is a close one. 15, serving 14. Yes, sir. One hand set to join the Coron. <laughs> Boy, these, uh, this, these subs from Coach Regine just producing when needed. There's something about F2 today. Everybody is just in on it. Yeah. Which is great for oh. her to see, but yes, the uh, service errors. Chance here for Signal. We have Job Gonzaga, the veteran, Bionic Ilonga. She will serve. Alba sends it to Arangala, soft touch. Says Molina with one of her own. Then a cruise from the back row. Then does he hit it on? Vanny Gandler. We've seen this the entire match. Kayuna going to Gandler from the back row. Come on, <laughs> come on. Using the hands, or the hand of Joy Dacoron. Mars to Galang. Bob set to Cess. Nandon si Andal. Galang, she's blocked. They'll try again. Oh. Second one is good. Just, just a smart tip off the blocker. After the block, then you use your smarts there. It's a one-point lead for the HD Spikers. As Aragalam will prepare to serve for the white shirts. Galam now with 16 points. Kayuna will find oh. Ses Molina. Good dig. That's a great dig. De La Cruz. Cayuna to Ses Molina again, unsuccessful. De La Cruz, she's oh. blocked. Good chase. De La Cruz, chance here for signal. They give it to Doria. Jones, good coverage. Oh, good save. The defense from both oh. our teams. And Jolina De La Cruz. Come on, but you have to credit the defense of F2, even Chola Alvarez and Aragala working hard before that Jolina De La Cruz kill. Chola, and then to Don and Jolina. Again, you're slicing through that block, finding her way. <laughs> 17 all. <sighs> Such a great what game. What a match for everybody <laughs> today. Here comes Aragada. No whistle yet. And uh, the referees now, when you, it happens more than once, they give a yellow card. Yeah. Because the first time was with Ethan Arce, mm -hmm. if you remember. Yeah. A warning. Ah. There we go. 17 all. Kayuna. Oh. Sess answers back. And it is a matchup that we were talking about, that we were excited to watch. 
Yeah, and they needed points right now. Who do you go to? The MVP. Cess Molina, 21 points for her. They're up by one point. Some breathing room, if you could call it that. <laughs> A little bit of cushion. Taking her sweet time. Eighteen serving, seventeen. Alba, the Coron, she's blocked. Jolina. Jail finds Vanny. Not yet. Oh. And Rose Doria, quick reflexes. That's a huge point for Doria. It's a crucial one too. Yeah. She was ready for it. She was anticipating it. They're up by two. Remember, if Signal gets this set, that's the game for them. Mm -hmm. And for those who just tuned in. Oh! <laughs> what a game for both these teams. But they can watch the replays, right? On Filipinas Live. Mm -hmm. and Ethan Arce checking back in. Shola has done her job. Job well done. Yes. <laughs> That's Don Makandidi Katindig. 13 excellent digs, 12 excellent receptions. Dakoron. Whoa. Way, way, way too strong for Dakoron. Puts the signal up by two. Oh, that's a huge service error. That's right. Doria serving. Alba to De La Cruz. Nandoon si Kayuna. She'll try again. Still blocked. Third time's a charm. Not, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. But Vanny. That goes to F2. They're going to call for a challenge. Vanny was pretty confident that there was a block touch. <laughs> A bit of uh, talking in while <laughs> waiting for the challenge, anyway. <laughs> Let's take a look. If there was indeed a block touch, there was. So Vanny was right after all. And she knew it. She was pretty confident that there was a block touch. That's going to be huge for, for Signal. You know what's funny is because when they challenged it, I saw Alba and Jolina looking at Signal saying, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then I saw Ria Meneses point to them. But right now, it is a three-point advantage for the HD Spikers as Mars Alba will send it again to Jolina. Oh, that's going to be an attack error on De La Cruz. Are they going to call a challenge of their own? They are. They're going to say, there was a check. Oh, and block touch down. again. Confident to Manchai. I saw her pointing to the other <laughs> side with a little smirk. So we'll see. successful challenge for coach Reg Diego and the rest of F2. Well, the best vantage point really is the, the spiker who hit that. Oh, look who's in. Ivy Laxina. And she's been gone for a while. Let's see how she's going to be able to adjust again and get into the groove of things after a long time on the bench. Oh, oh that's going to be an ace. That was Mars Alba. And I know that in their game against Streamline, she had about three service aces. As Coach Shaq will call for time. Yeah. 
mulo, skate mo, inasin sa line. Kasi ang pag-block niya ganun, pagka-delegate niya, ganun niya, line po na sa line natin. Kailangan natin pasahan. Eh, pag wala, ready pati ba ako, okay? Kumita isa pa sa ah, first ball. Napaka-importante ng first ball natin, okay? Four points tayo, pero one point at a time. Kailangan, ano natin yan? Tsagayin natin yan, tsagayin natin, pag-irapan natin, okay? Hey, focus tayo, focus tayo. One point at a time is going to be the mantra of the Signal HD Spikers heading into the final moments of set number four. Incredible job today by Vanny Gandler as well, leading this team even as a rookie alongside Ses Molina. Actually, everybody from Everyone. both teams yeah. showing up. Vanny! Good dig. That was Ara. They go to Janina! She ties this game. You know, she is really now the vein, the blood that runs through the veins of this F2 squad. And that was point number 29. Wow. Oh, oh they weren't ready for it. The deception by Jen Ayuna. Again, not, she didn't go to that a lot today. But that one was huge. <laughs> it's a close fourth set. 21 excellent sets for Jell. She will serve. Her team is up by one point. They go to Janina from the Why other side. Not? Why not? Give her the ball from outside and she'll be able <laughs> to get the point. She has a golden hand. Golden hand. And the cheers are getting a bit louder. If you're wondering why, it's because Myla Pablo has entered the court. At 22 all in the fourth set. Could be a risk also it is. for Coach Reg Diego. Talia de la Cruz. 30, 30 points. points. <laughs> attacks for her. Cayuna. Bob set to Gonzaga. Oh, oh, that's in for Job Gonzaga. That's just smart hitting for you, no? Not too much power, just finding that corner. And they're up by one. That's really her target. You can see the way she directed the ball. 23 serving 22. And this is just her second game. Mm -hmm. We got another big one coming up, but right now we want to focus on this. Laxina! The dig. Molina! Nandon si Pablo, they go to Milo Pablo! That is gonna go outside for Milo. A little bit shaky. <laughs> A little bit shaky. But you know, when you saw that, you she had the right thing in mind. That was and the, the gaping and move. Talking about it. It was a, it's a risk. It's a risk. It's a risk. She has not played the whole game. She's not healthy. Mm -hmm. She's not 100 percent And right now, signal at match point. Vanny for the game. Yes, sir. Lapsina. Molina. Oh, not and even. Andrew clinging on for dear life. <laughs> Boy, not yet, says F2 Logistics. Oh, they're gonna call it net touch. If this, okay, if this is successful, this is gonna be crucial for, yeah. for Signal. Did you see, it, it look like, it. we'll see, we'll see.
Let's take a look. What's that? None. I didn't see the net move at all. Yeah, there's no black. Well, okay, that's official one. No <laughs> black touch. No black touch. It's an unsuccessful challenge. They were able to regroup. They're at match point talking about signal. If you're F2, you need to come up with something good. Well, nerves of steel needed for Arce. Here comes the rookie, even Arce, for the serve. Oh, it's good, it's good. Says oh. Molina. Jolina. What a dig! Nerves of steel for F2. It's a chance, chance here for Signal. Really? Straight to Mars Alba. Chance! Ivy Laxina, oh. no good! Gonzaga! Oh my goodness, this game! Oh. Nerves of Ooh. steel! You called it. I'm getting goosebumps, really. And if you remember how we started this match, I, I, I told you, it was a slow burn. <laughs> yeah. It was a slow burn, and now we're here. Regardless of who wins, Noreen, these two teams have just played their hearts out. Yeah. And are playing their hearts out. And for me, now you know why Myla Pablo is in. Mm -hmm. Coach Regine, Regine Diego has a plan and confidence and trust in Myla Pablo. Here we go, Ses Molina! Still alive! What a dig by Myla! Gonzaga! Oh, oh she's gonna get it! Woo. Are we still okay? Is everybody still okay? I'm gonna get a sip of water. <laughs> Joe Gonzaga. You know, this was the perfect rotation and still is for signal because you have Gonzaga in one end and Molina in one end and Tayuna is milking the two of them in opposite. Match point, signal HD spikers. We got Riri Manessas, crucial serve. Oh, good serve. Oh, this is a chance ball for signal. Who do they go to? Says Molina. Oh! this again. Could have gone either way. Props to, to F2. This was a great game for them, but somebody had to win and Signal just had enough power for them to snatch this. And you know, we said it, regardless of who the winner is, these two teams played their hearts out today. Nothing to be ashamed of if you're a fan of F2. Should not be disheartened. But if you're a fan of the Signal HE Spikers, what a win for this squad. And the streak continues. Five game winning streak. Relive this game and all PBL games anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. Let's take a look at our set scores. 23, 25, 25, 22, 24, 26, and 24, 26. Yeah, it was a very close match and a very enjoyable one. I mean, we had the pleasure of covering it. We wanted it to go five sets, but it ended in four. Shout out to Jolina de la Cruz. What yes. a game. What a game. 30 points for this 30 rookie. 30 points. Come on. That is her highest output thus far. I'm, I think in the collegiate as well and here in the pros. But yes, you know, commend the rookies of F2. There was a point, there were four of them right. on the court leading the charge for F2. Good shock, all smiles passing our table, of course. What a great effort from both these teams. And this is a kind of volleyball that you really want to
as we turn it over to Jaime Ascalon with our best player of the game. Who are you with, Jaime? Billy and Noreen, and with me right now is our best player of the game, Jel Cayuna, four attack points, 22 excellent sets. First of all, Jel, congratulations, a big win. Um, nung fourth set, ano tumatakbo sa isip mo na close game para makuha yung fourth straight win niya dito sa PVL? Actually, yung una ko talagang nais, uh, medyo kinakaba na ako kasi uh, di kita na nga yung laban. Pero sabi ko sa sarili ko na kung meron mang uh, isa sa matatag ako yun kasi setter nga ako. So ako yung nag nagiging uh, creative sa loob ng court para maipanalo yung game. Yun lang. And yung tapang syempre. And then... Jel, napansin ko rin parang si Coach Shaq, relax lang siya, nagpapatawa, lahat nakasmile, lahat natutuwa. Gano ka important yung, yung joy, yung saya sa paglalaro nyo at saka yung importance sa winning streak nyo din? Uh, sobrang importante yun kasi isa yun sa nagpapagaan sa, gaw sa gawain na sa loob, sa, sa loob ng court. Kaya ayun sana tuloy-tuloy lang yung uh, happiness. Consistency naman yun yung lagi pinapag-usapan ni Coach Shaki, yung consistency. Para siyo ba medyo nahanap nyo na yung consistency nyo dito sa conference na to? Uh, Oo oh, naman, kasi sunod-sunod na rin yung naging panalo namin. Uh, datrabawin pa namin yun para maging consistent pa lalo hanggang dulo. Jel, I'm sure may mga gusto ka batiin sa mga gusto mo i-greet. Uh, hello po sa Signal Farm, sa lahat ng sumusuporta, sa family ko, kayo na family sa Dapitan, sa Hingog City, kay Jingay, and sa lahat ng taga Dapitan City at Pulo. And there we have it, Billy and Rian, Jel Cayun, our best player of the game. Congratulations to Jel and the rest of the Signal HE Spikers as we take a look at our match statistics. Go ahead, Noreen. Well, it was close, although it just went four sets. Look at the attacks by two. Blocking was really an advantage of Signal use to perfection in today's game, especially in the third set. Remember when they got the third set, it was last two, I think, was care of blocks. Ten blocks, aces, F2 logistics, opponents by three. But that really, for me, a great game. It's really sad that someone has to lose. F2, they have a tough last few games, but they're still not out of it. They're still looking to make it to the final four. That's right. He said it. Signal at 6-2 and two now for F2. They drop to four wins and four losses. Of course, we got another big game coming up. We got the Petrogas Angels versus the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. On behalf of my partner, Noreen Go, Jaime Ascalon, Derek Marvin Chavez, and all the amazing people behind this production, I'm Billy Capistrano saying thank you for watching the PVL All-Filipino Conference. Heart to heart. Grabe talaga. Yan po ang tunay na kapatid. Dati pa habain, baka mamaya umiyak ka pa eh. Oh, Arte mo, papakain ka. Oh, sige na, next na. Pero mas favorite ako. Ito, ito. <laughs>